welcome to uh, another one of my simulations that I've created to help me teach type courses over the years. Today I'm going to look at the uh, simulation I've created for the Augusta Westland 139 helicopter hydraulic system. Again it's done in VBA uh, for Excel and uh, I've tried to make it as interactive as I possibly can. So when we open up the simulation you can see here we've got in the centre we've got the synoptic page that you will see on the display. Down here we've got a representation of the hydraulic panel. Over this side we've got a little side view I've put in just so you can see the under how far the undercarriage drops or simulates how showing the undercarriage dropping. Here we've got the undercarriage lights themselves and at the top here we've got some lines where the CAS warnings will come up. Just as my other simulations I've done, we can uh, click on a little button here and we can highlight and take us to a picture of uh, some of the components. Here we've got a picture of one of the main actuators on the rotor head. Okay, and then going back, we've got the legend for what all the pictures on the synoptic page will show us. We've got the position of where the sensors are in the hydraulic system and what caption they will bring up. And then finally we've got the actual hydraulic schematic as you would understand it from the AMM. Okay, so first thing that the pilot's going to do is pilot will select the electric pump on. Right, we don't have a accessory drive system on the 139 helicopter so the only way you can do a full free functional check of the of the flying controls is to power up the hydraulic system and we do that with an electric pump so when the pumps on you can see that we've got oil flowing down but because the pressure is lower than the main system pressure you can see that we've got some indications come up as CAS and we've also got some uh, uh, undefined settings on some of the synoptic page. So once he's finished with his hydraulic system and he's done his full functional check, okay, he can turn the hydraulic pump off and then we can start the main rotor head and obviously if we start the main rotor head we're going to run all of the pumps. So here we have an indication of what would happen under normal running conditions. Everything's happy. Okay, and then we can simulate turning the pumps off. If we turn number two pump off, all we do is get a caption because with the, on the number two side we've got redundancy in time in terms of pump. Okay, or we can turn the number one uh, four pump off. Slightly different with the number one pump. I've when we turn this off, it's going to run through some uh, some bits. We've got the automated voice, which is supplied as part of the XL VBA system. So I apologize for the computerized voice. The lack of pressure in number one system is sensed downstream of shut off valve one. This prevents closure of shut off valve two. The number two shut off valve is inhibited to prevent the pilot losing all flying controls. Okay, so as it said there, if we lose this pump, the pressure switch downstream of the shut off valve will sense the loss of pressure. Okay, this will mean that we will lose pressure to the, our flying control servos. Alright, so the system will automatically isolate the shutoff valve so the pilot can't inadvertently shut this one off and lose power to all of his flying controls. Okay, so the next thing we can demonstrate is fluid loss. And if we lose fluid from the number one system, it's fairly straightforward. As the oil level goes down, it's indicated by three level switches in the system and eventually we'll bring up a min hide caption and a low um, emergency landing gear pressure caption and that's all that happens with the number one side okay so we're just going to reset that get it running again slightly different with the number two side however I've automated it again so it will run through and you'll get to hear the uh, the computerized voice if the number two system loses oil the sensors in the power control module automatically try to isolate the leak. Okay, one of the downsides of using this message box system is they only come up in the middle. Right, I can move them around a little bit, but the other good thing is that 
the simulation won't continue to run until I click on OK. So we can use that as a talking point or a teaching point. At 50% loss, the system isolates the utility, undercarriage, circuit. Loss of pressure in the utility circuit will cause the undercarriage to drop. If the fault is not isolated, oil will continue to leak. Okay, so again, we can stop at this point and discuss it. Whether the undercarriage comes down that far or comes down a bit further, I'm not sure. Okay, but once we're happy and we've discussed it all, we At 28% the system will open the utility shut-off valve and close the tail rotor shut-off valve. At this point the number one shut-off valve is inhibited, to prevent the pilot losing tail rotor control. If the fault is not isolated, oil will continue to leak. Okay, so as it just said there, when we get to 28%, it opens up the undercarriage um, valve, gear comes back up, shuts off the tail rotor valve, and also isolates the shut-off valve so that we can't close this off, which means we would lose tail rotor servo control. At 22% the system will close the utility and tail rotor shut-off valves, conserving the remaining oil for the main rotor servos. The number one shut-off valve remains inhibited, to prevent the pilot losing tail rotor control. Okay, so that's run through what happens if we lose hydraulics oil from the number two side. Okay then, so the last thing we can simulate is an over temperature. So what we're going to do is uh, run up the temperature on the number two side and uh, it will just run through what happens and what the pilot must do in this instance. The temperature's running up. If the system temperature increases above 134 degrees Celsius, the pilot must isolate the system. However, before the pilot does this, they must ensure that the servos for the opposite side are all serviceable. If there are no failed servos, the pilot can close shut off valve 2 with the switch on the hydraulic panel. Okay, so that would allow the hydraulic system hopefully to cool down because the oil is not being used in the actuators. Okay, so that's my hydraulic system simulation that I created to help me teach the 139 hydraulic system. I hope you enjoyed it.